boxing among three of today's top fighters. Former champion Meldrick Taylor returns to the ring to take on Primo Ramos. Has stood and will stand by him as Frazier after he beat Ali in their first. Come on, let's bounce around. Come on. A lot of support from the crowd. Nine wins, six losses, and a draw on the record, although come on, one of come the three he has said that he will never again fight at 140 pounds. But again, I can't uh, accent enough. Gentlemen, this fight is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Primo Ramos, Ramos, Meldrick, Taylor, Taylor. Any question? Okay, so guess come out fighter. Any good right hand by Ramos. You gonna see a lot more. Right now, melted to the body. And already you see the clear evidence that Primo Roger Mayweather, and as Brunel Whitaker and Julio Cesar Chavez. Almost once. Ramos with the right hand lead. Here's the left hand by he tested here. Now, three years later, you see what Taylor did just then. He exactly what's taking place here, Jim. Ramos is trying to counter that left hand. Okay, there it is. a lot more loose. Coming off the Chavez fight was round one from I think it was good to get rocked once with the left hook. Good indication he's had very good training. Because from day one, what uh, Taylor needs to do is round two. They brought somebody to set it again. If you throw a right hand, come back with two, three hooks. Here's to college to tell him how it would enhance his ledger to win this fight. And they, your opponent's brother is able to read that. Again. Lou Dupa shouting, keep the right hand. A hard right hand because it's their belief that Taylor Ramos because he's waiting for the opportunity. More and more it looks as though they are settling in for a tough going to the body inside after Taylor missed with Primo Ramos did well and Meltrick was a little bit rusty, but in the second and the third he lost he he chose to fight a fairly easy opponent. So if you fight a guy that's vulnerable, you're going to play hard. This guy's tough. He's making Mildred Taylor work. Clearly talented physical specimens in the sport. Big legs. And he is now in this round. Working off the jab, but Ramos lands the left inside. Luggage. Tented at times. He stand up and expose his chin. And you don't do it with the bicycle butt. A right hand, a right hand open. What's going to make a difference in this fight also is the altitude. Only landing 17% of it, 10 of 50 and with their heads, so there may be an inadvertent head by the time. Is his composure. He's not getting frustrated. He comes so susceptible to that right hand. Entire fight against Meldrick Taylor. He goes to bed talking like that. A master. Oh, Ramos up against the ropes. No, most of the people in his corner that his right arm feels tingling. Trainer believes that hard punches to the arm. He's, he's moving straight. Now Ramos is making a mistake. He's not throwing the punches. He's just... There's a good jab. But you, got, you got to loosen up. You got to don't throw him three at it. Oh. Round six was the best round of the fight for Meldrick. It's more of a reassurance that he still has. Oh. He threw a lot of beautiful combinations. Oh, 
ball goes there, he lands on This is a replay of a situation that took place in later on. The Ghost Fighters have landed. Puts the blast away with the left hand. Ramos in a little trouble. Ramos caught a breather too, though. Nelson appears to be settling down a little bit now. Chant of Primo from his supporters. Ramos is coming in with all head now. Head first. And he's just trying to uh, buy his time. Very smart. Oh, oh. Trying to take a breather. And round seven, final. Effective aggressiveness means so much to a judge. Another blow if we can. Oh. But it was a low blow. Punch that numbers. Break it up, break it up. Not terribly. Meldrick Taylor's first time back fight. Ramos actually just posed that time. And he wonder. <laughs> the double jab so he can't be counted. Okay. Which makes him very susceptible to the left hook. And with the effective part of the glove. Aggression <laughs> because fighting this particular style, this particular tip. Go out from one side to the other. hands high. It's a signal that they... ...been completed. So they are into the night. Oh. Oh, oh. Not as many punches. He's not as busy now. Left hook. Well, that's the problem, Jim. One punch. What, this is a mistake that Taylor made against Chavez. Up to welterweight. It would do a great carries a lot of power, Jeff. Without a last round knockout. What's wrong? It'll be in careless. Okay, break it up, break it up. Listen carefully to George. Maybe it's out of the question at this point. Or attempt to. But this is a perfect opposition for a fire. You know what's going through Melchick Taylor's mind? Left hook landed for And Melchick knows it, and he's on his bicycle. Another professional show by Primo Ramos. Let's not forget what he did toward the welterweight class. And the word from... Sure, sure. I'll get this one. Right. And, and you had him winning the speed. last six rounds of the bout. Without question. Meldrick Taylor! Taylor! You can see that Taylor was much, much the busier fighter and win the fight. And that was my plan, my strategy going into the fight. Two, three jabs in a row, and try to land with that right hand, throw combinations. It's too, it's too hard on my body, and I did what I had to do, what my people wanted me to do in my corner to win this fight. One last question.